Greetings, WordPressers. Jackson here. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. So the WordPress admin can get a little bit messy, a little bit clunky, a little bit tricky. And if you've got a clients like I've got clients, almost every backend user is going to be set as admin, which means they get a ton of settings and plugin pages. And the admin dashboard looks a complete and horrific mess for all the users using it. So what I like to do is I like to be a good boy and create a nice, beautiful admin when I hand over a client site. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to take your admin mess and turn it into something rather beautiful. Okay, here's a pretty usual looking WP admin backend dashboard sidebar with just untold amounts of plugin settings and all the rest of it. Just a quick one on those administrators. Look, here's the site I was talking about. 58 users, 47 customers. Every single backend user is an administrator. Please. Anyway, let's get this sorted out. I mean, to be fair, like I said, making them an editor doesn't hide everything, but this is belt and braces. So let's get stuck in. We've got a plugin here called White Label CMS, courtesy of Video User Manuals, AKA Troy Dean, mate, from Down Under, Mighty Troy. Go and check him out on the, on the Agency Mavericks podcast, very good. Right, let's get that plugin sorted out. It's, it's under Settings and White Label CMS. I'm just gonna whiz through this. Yes, hide WordPress logo. Yes, hide WordPress version. Don't really need to do much else here, apart from get an admin bar logo up. Let's get our logo in, done, save that. As we go, login, coming back to that in just a second. Dashboard, dashboard icon, no, don't want one. Dashboard title, just get rid of it. Hide all dashboard panels. So that's all of these guys here, all these different panels and stuff, yes. Yep, I wanna hide all of them. Let's hide all of them. Save that. I'm gonna go and log in with uh, another another admin user. See what Sammy gets. Well, okay, she gets, she's got a nice blank, complete blank dashboard. Bit rubbish, bit useless. But hang on, white label CMS to the rescue. Look down here. Custom welcome dashboard panel. Mm, yes, please. Add your own custom panel. Well, this is very cool. You can use an Elementor template or a Beaver builder template. You can actually just put in a ton of H your own HTML or just choose a page. And I've already created a page called dashboard. Put it in there. Save that. Back to Sammy's front end and check that out. She's got a much useful dashboard. She's got quick links, contact info, and a web form to get support. She's got guides. She's got tutorials all about her website. It's already feeling a lot better. Let's get back to our settings here because you can see, actually, this, this, is, this is just too much. I mean, you know, poor old Sammy wants to get in here, write some posts, and not be bombarded with a load of settings, right? So let's sort that out. Menus. Want to hide menus for your client? Yes, I do. Now, look at this. This is the gold. Sammy's an admin. So by default, if, she, if you made her, her an editor, she, might, she may not see some of this stuff, but she may see some of this stuff. So you can turn off, for all those admins, aka the 10 admins that are on that other side, you can turn on and off whether you, they, you want them to see the admin menus that you are choosing. So we're, we don't want Sam, Sam to see anything, so let's leave that off. Dashboard, no, I don't wanna see any updates. Let's leave post, media, and pages on, but of course, Say you didn't want any, you didn't want anyone to muck around with categories and tags, and you could turn them off if you wanted to. Right, comments. Yeah, we need someone to do the comments. Product feeds. That's actually a plugin. Don't want that. Same with accordions. WooCommerce. Now this is a bit subjective, but I would say you don't need extensions. Don't know what that is. Turn that off. Set status and settings, but you might want to leave those on for regular admins. Products. Same here. Don't want exporting and imports. All this other stuff. You want your admins to be able to have a look at that sort of stuff. Payments, no, probably not for regular backend users. Analytics, marketing, and here's a lot of plugins, Croco, Jet, all the Jet stuff. This is the options, the options page for the website, preferences and stuff. Don't need regular people need access to that. Appearance, same. You, know, you want to, I don't want you looking at my theme files, thanks very much. Plugins, no. Users, no. The user can look at their own profile and change stuff up there. Tools, absolutely not. Settings not. The rest is plugins. No, 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 and no. Save that. Look at what we've got now for Sammy's view. Already looking way cool, but there's more. There's more, there's more, there's more. Let's turn off all the stuff in the, on the top. 
admin bar here, save that. Let's get to the next settings bar, which is hide the help, hide the screen options, which is the stuff you see at the top, little tabs. And yeah, turn off nag messages for updates. Yes, save that. Let's have a look at Sammy, refresh. Oh, news been left on. Let's turn off menus, admin bar, admin bar, new, turn that off, save that. Right, back to Sammy. now. The other thing you might want to do is brand your back end like your client's brand colors. So let's inspect this and have a look at the color of the background color. If we change that to something, I'll tell you what, let's just nick that green there. Probably a bit light. Let's make it darker. That feels cool. Copy that. Copy that rule because in our settings here, we've got some little, we've got a little place to put CSS. Let's get it in there. Don't need that width on there. Save that. And also with the admin bar here, inspect that admin bar. Let's just pick up that color from the sidebar. Thank you. Copy that rule back to our CSS. Quite a lot of stuff we don't need here. Rid of that and all that. Save that. I mean, you can you can go to town here if you want to, but I think the highlight here inspect that. Where is it? Is it? that one or is it the A? Yeah, here we go. So that would, I would say needs to be probably black or maybe just knock it down a bit and blend it with the green by giving it a bit of transparency and automatically that's feeling it right on brand. You get me? Okay, let's copy all that. And that's got all, that'll be all the highlight colors for the different bits and pieces everywhere. So let's copy that and get that into our settings CSS. Don't need that in there. One last thing. You get might get the other thing. So this is a Croco block thing here, plugins. If I just see that, you see that's a let's get that up here. Not current submenu da, 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 separator croco. So you can just dive into the CSS and just get it super tidy by, by say just doing a load of display nuns of stuff and see even more tidier. Cool. That's in. I mean, it, the, the world's your oyster, but I mean, we've gone from that to that currently, and I think that's pretty cool. Let's just save that and let's talk about the login because if we log out, Sammy, we've still got a pretty rubbish, pretty another fifteen euro, pretty rubbish. So let's get to that login. Right, let's get a logo, our own logo on there. Great. Um, you can obviously put in lots of different stuff, or we'll put a width on there, three hundred px background color well you can go to town here i mean you could put like a full background image and stuff like that do some extra css if you wanted to i'm just gonna keep it simple go background white hide the register and lost your password absolutely don't want anyone registering although that's turned off i would imagine back to link don't need form background color fine for now all oh, that's fine form button color well let's make that just black for the time being but you can literally you know tweak and tweak to your heart's content save that let's have a look at our login now okay let's just get that on a without the message look isn't that i mean immediately just those few settings just absolutely better let's inspect that because i'd quite like this form to have a radius border radius of 20px that's cool and the border color of much lighter so it's not in your face but you can say so you can go to town on this let's get that into our login css we've got separate login css for you there and i don't really like this either let's inspect that let's get that language switcher let's just turn that off display none copy and in that is pretty damn fine Refresh, check that. Oh, we put it in the JavaScript. Get it in the CSS, mate. Right, here we go. There you go. Just so lovely and simple. Really lovely and simple. Sammy logs in. And we've gone from that to that. Which do you think your client will prefer? Links are, of course, in the description for everything mentioned. And if you fancy some more WordPress admin action, Try this one for size, but until next time, I shall see you later.